Okay, so before I officially start the video, you're gonna get a bonus shutdown of the upstairs unit. And it's starting to rain, I better make this quick. Okay, I shut off the upstairs unit because this video is about the second floor unit, which is a two-ton, and what makes this different from the other one, aside from the size, is that it has a rotary compressor instead of a scroll or a resip. Um, some of you may remember that the dual two-ton carriers at my parents' old townhouse both had Copeland scroll compressors. And I made a video of this at one point. I don't know if it's still on YouTube, but my aunt's neighbor in New Jersey had a one-and-a-half-ton York just for the second floor of her house that was a uh, rotary compressor. And then this video is definitely still on there. I don't remember if it's a rotary or not, but the, the uh, little townhouse out in Lancaster that my uh, cousin rented while she was going to Millersville, um, that had a one and a half ton Amana, which is the smallest unit I've ever seen for a single, like I was shocked it was that small, but it was an interior unit. But yeah, that, that video is still on YouTube. That's from 2013, but anyway, the point of the video today is to do a startup shutdown of my first floor Goodman. And again, in case you forgot, um, both straight cool units, both matched with gas furnaces. Um, like most houses in this area, this house has natural gas. Um, the water heater, the heat, and the stove are all gas. Um, it has a wall oven instead of a, like a, a range, so the oven is electric, but the stove is gas, as it should be. That's another reason to vote Republican, folks. Democrats want to take away your gas stoves. Um, but yeah, let's get this puppy started before this turns into a downpour. Not horrifically loud for a nine-year-old Goodman. And I already told you the nominal tonnage, so it's 24,000 BTUs, and this house was built in 2015, 2016, so it's R410A. And again, um, this one had to have one of the capacitors replaced and this air conditioner has not had any problems. 
but some sort of circuit board in the furnace or the blower gave out over the winter and that had to be replaced and now the gas furnace for this one is not working at all but that happened in may so we don't really need the heat and our hvac guy is swamped so we decided to wait until fall to get the furnace fixed and we got some black and yellow stingy things down here I am not allergic to bees, but my girlfriend is, and she'd be freaking out right now if she saw these. There's a damn hornet, or not, I don't know, are those yellow jackets? I am no bee expert, but it would appear there is a nest in that hole underneath the air conditioner. I'm going to have to fill that with water. And the furnace for the upstairs unit is located up in the attic and it's a pain in the ass to get to so I do not think it's worth it to get a video of the furnace for the second floor um, if it's anything like the system at my house those were two identical systems um, two ton air conditioners matched with 40,000 BTU furnaces then this I mean the house is a little bit bigger so maybe it's 50 or 60,000 BTUs but I don't think it's any more than that and I, when I do the video of this system, I will get you the BTUs for the first floor furnace. Yeah, yep, the rain's starting to pick up a little bit now. Both of them are mounted on these frame thingies. One of our neighbor, three houses in this neighborhood, all of which have dual zone, have all had one unit replaced. There's a Ream. The Ream was the first to go in, then there's a Lennox. And then the one right, then the, this one down here in the other cul-de-sac had a carrier put in. And the carrier is mounted on a leveling pad and risers instead of a, you know, the shit mounted to the side of the house. Which I actually prefer, um, the, the being on the ground. Yeah, not particularly sweaty but it is getting cold fourteen sear thirteen to fourteen sear my bad um, I'm assuming these have a TXV um, I know like just over a not even fifteen years ago um, base model Goodman still had capillary tubes, but I'm assuming these have TXVs. Um, about to go and read the data sheet. But yeah, this is my second floor air conditioner. I'm gonna go up and trying to there we go. Zoom in.
mean, it's stopping. But yeah, that is the second floor unit for my parents' house. Wish it were easier to get a better look at the compressor. And this one's a, yeah, this is a, these are both uh, three blades. I believe the carriers at my old house were both two blades. And this house's about, I seem to remember that the sales brochure said the plan was, the bait, and we're talking the base plan. Um, uh, my parents have the, the sunroom edition, which adds a few hundred square, or and I don't know how much that adds. Um, but they have a sunroom edition. Um, so, yeah, I've, I seem to remember the, the base model plan being like 2,900 square feet. Um, the sunroom probably bumps that up to around, I don't know, 3,000, 3,100. It does not have a finished basement. Zillow says that the house is 3,300 square feet, which I say is a little bit high. So I'm just going to go with somewhere in the range of 3,000 to 3,200, give or take. And again, um, I have a window unit in my bedroom because due to tracked home half-assery, the installer ran a 12-inch flex duct into a 10-inch vent. So um, I would otherwise have to set the, the uh, sorry about that. I would have to set the second floor to 67 degrees or less to make my room comfortable on a really hot day. And what is the temperature? Do I have my phone on me? Yeah, I got my phone on me. Um, all right, it's not as hot as it was earlier. 81 degrees, and because of the wind, it feels like 79 degrees, but the humidity is 65%, so it is humid. So it is a good air conditioning day. But yeah, that is the two-ton Goodman coming, let's see, what's a good day to do the Goodman? The other Goodman, I guess I'll probably do that on a, yeah, let's, hmm, I'll do it sometime this week. Um, my parents are just doing a lot of stuff inside the house right now, and um, I just don't feel like doing the going through the rigmarole of going inside the house, outside the house, to do the furnace and the... And we got a spider here. Hopefully one of those bees flies into his web. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully... We got quite a few warm days left. Not as hot as it's been, but... Um, I plan on doing a start up and shut down on the two and a half ton Goodman this week at some point. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out.